Welcome back to the channel. We're Jamie and Skylar, and in late 2021, we spent five mostly beautiful days on our mostly empty ship. In the second episode of our series, we'll be taking you on the ultimate tour of the Royal Caribbean Serenade of the Seas. From bottom to top, back to front, and everywhere in between, we'll show you all of the top spots to eat, drink, exercise, relax, and have a great time. The Serenade of the Seas contains 12 guest accessible decks, the lowest being deck two, which includes the boarding area, a few staterooms, and the medical facility. And as deck three contains only staterooms, this tour begins on deck number four. Here towards the back of the ship, you'll find the Centrum, one of our favorite spots on the entire ship. Within the Centrum, you'll find the R-Bar, a great spot to grab an evening cocktail while enjoying some live music on the Centrum stage. Right next to the Centrum, you'll find the guest service and shore excursions desks, as well as the portrait studio. And just a little bit further at the very back of the ship, you'll find the lower level of the main dining room, Reflections. We'll show you more of Reflections and our other dining experiences in our upcoming Serenade of the Seas videos. So be sure to subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss them. Back at the rear of the ship and one floor up on deck five, you'll find the upper level of Reflections. Right next to Reflections, you'll find the Cruise Next Desk, as well as an awesome coffee spot, Cafe Latitudes. Offering a wide variety of gourmet lattes and other coffee drinks, this was definitely one of our most frequented spots on the ship. Right next door to the cafe and just off the Centrum, shopping fans will find their place at the Port Shopping Guide desk and the shops of Centrum. Just past the shops, cruisers will find the conference center and the art and photo gallery. At the very front of the ship, you'll find the lower level of the tropical theater, which on our cruise was for vaccinated guests only and did not require masks. And for cruisers who aren't booked in a balcony room, but would still like a quiet, relaxing spot to take in the ocean view, you can find just that on the promenade decks on Deck 5. Now that we've shown you around Decks 4 and 5, let's see what Deck 6 has to offer. Starting at the very front of the ship, you'll find the upper level of the Tropical Theater, your go-to spot for evening shows, plus other events and movie showings during the day. Next to the theater, movie buffs will be happy to find a cinema. And just past that, beer buffs like Skylar will be delighted to find the Crown and Castle Pub, a British-themed pub with an impressive selection of liquor and beers. Music fans will also be happy to find a stage and frequent live performances. Next to Crown and Castle, gamblers can find the casino, which on our cruise was a vaccinated only area with masks not required. Past the casino and situated just off of the Centrum, wine enthusiasts will find their spot at Vintage's Wine Bar, which like most other bars on the ship, was a vaccinated guest only area.
past vintages at the rear of the ship, cruisers will find the Schooner Bar and Safari Club, plus three of the ship's specialty restaurants in Chops Grill, Giovanni's, and Chef's Table. Visitors to the Schooner Bar will find a nautical theme and impressive decor with an oval bar in the center. On the sides of the bar, guests will find Chops Grill and Giovanni's Table. Further towards the rear of the ship, you'll find the Safari Club, a spacious club with multiple bars and some amazing views from the rear of the ship. And in the far back corner of the ship, within the Safari Club, guests will find Chef's Table, another of the ship's specialty restaurants. With the exception of the Business Center located on the seventh deck, decks seven through 10 consist of staterooms only. So let's head up to deck eight so we can show you where we stayed during our five nights in the Caribbean. Hello, come in. Welcome to our stateroom tour. I think we're gonna start off with the most impressive feature, and that of course is the balcony. Just love the sound of the waves. But let's go back inside and check out the room. So right next to the balcony is this giant bed. And we think it's very comfortable. I really like the pillows. And there are nice stands next to each side of the bed with lights as well. But I do want to point out that there aren't any plugins. So for devices, you're not able to charge them next to the bed. You do have to come over to this area of the room where you'll find two plugins. There are a lot of nice features over in this area of the room as well. One of those being these mirrors. If you look at them, they might look a little bit dated, but I love that I can stand in one spot. I can see how I look from the front, from the side, and from the back. So that's pretty cool. And also there are a lot of storage spaces here. So in this corner behind the mirror, there's a lot of space, and I personally think we brought a lot of stuff on this cruise. We still have a lot of space to fill. There's also another one behind this mirror. We were able to store our wine mead here. We were able to bring on two bottles. So that's a very nice spot here. And of course we've got more storage up here with the safe. And down below is where the mini fridge is. We have even more storage. I think we've got six of these drawers in total. They are a little noisy. And in the middle here, there's another drawer. And here is where you'll find information for room service. So you can order room service through these tags. You can also order room service through the app or by calling them as well. And the last feature over in this area is going to be the TV and that it's on an arm. So there is a curtain that you can pull to divide the room. So if somebody wants to stay up watching TV, they're able to do so and the other person is able to sleep. It also rotates, so if you wanna watch TV out on your balcony, you can do that as well. Moving along to the hallway though, here's where you'll find most of the storage. And we counted around 17 hangers. And there's a lot of cubbies as well. We were able to put our luggage in this area, but if you need that space for something else, you also could put your luggage under the bed. And on the other side of the hallway is the bathroom. There's some more storage in here in the corner, very similar to the living area space. And we've got a pod-like shower. As you can see, it's a little tight, but it works. Now that concludes our tour of our stateroom. Hope you enjoyed it. Now we're gonna get back to exploring the rest of the ship.
And that takes us another three floors up to deck 11, where you'll likely be spending a lot of your time. So let's go check it out. On this deck, you'll find the main pool, whirlpools, and movie screen towards the center of the ship. During our cruise, we were surprised to find the pool to be often completely empty, leaving the friendly lifeguards with a very boring job. On the side of the main pool, by the whirlpools, you'll find the shower station, the perfect spot to rinse off while enjoying a shower beer. Moving past the hot tubs towards the front of the ship, you'll find the pool bar, your go-to spot for a cold, refreshing cocktail on a hot Caribbean day. Past the pool bar, you'll find the towel station, right next door to the park cafe. Like all other interior eating areas, masks were required in this space. Cruisers will be happy to find that Park Cafe offers sweet treats and also some great healthier options. And just around the corner from the Park Cafe, guests will find the Solarium, a tranquil, adults-only area, and the ultimate spot for relaxation. Like the main pool area, we often found the Solarium pool to be completely empty, other than the lifeguard watching over from above. We were especially happy to find that no reserving of chairs was allowed in the solarium, and we never had trouble finding an open chair to relax in. Just outside of the solarium, guests will find the spa portion of the spa and fitness center. And if you happen to need a haircut while on your cruise, you can find the hair salon just on the other side of the spa. Now that we've shown you the front half of deck 11, let's go see what you can find towards the back. Once at the rear half of deck 11, guests will find another of the ship's multiple art galleries. And if you're starting to get hungry, you are in luck, as the Windjammer Cafe is right next door. Just prior to reaching the Windjammer, cruisers will find an outdoor seating area on the side of the ship, which we found to be one of the better spots on the ship to take in the views. Back inside, guests will find the Windjammer, a buffet-style cafe and the most popular spot on the ship for breakfast and lunch. Just like cruises of the past, guests at the Windjammer will find a variety of delicious food at their fingertips. And while you're no longer able to prepare your own plates, you'll find plenty of friendly servers ready to fill your plate with as much food as you desire. And once you've grabbed your meal from the Windjammer, we recommend heading to the very back of the ship, yet another great spot to enjoy your food with a view. Our next stop takes us one floor up to Deck 12, where you'll find a variety of activities and even more amazing views. So let's head outside and check out the front half of the ship. Running all the way around the front half of Deck 12, guests will find the running track. With its spectacular views, this track is a feature of the ship you'll definitely want to check out, whether you're actually into running or not. We found that the views seem to only get better as you make your way further towards the front of the ship, but we'll let you be the judge of that for yourself. Just a few steps from the very front of the ship, you'll find the entrance to the Vitality Fitness Center, right next to the front elevators.
Like most of the 12th deck, we found the gem to offer some fantastic ocean views. And like so many other parts of the ship, we often found it to be very empty as well. Now that we've shown you the front of the 12th deck, let's make our way towards the back. And once you've made it back to the center of the ship, you'll find spots for kids of all ages in the Royal Nursery, Fuel Teens Club, and Adventure Ocean. Just a bit further towards the back of the ship, you'll find another great spot to get some exercise at the sports courts. The courts include a basketball hoop and soccer nets with balls for each sport provided as well. Just a few steps past the sports courts, video gamers will find their spot at Challenger's Arcade, which offers a good variety of games and some cool neon lighting. Right outside the arcade, you'll find the shuffleboard courts and accessories on the sports deck. At the very back of deck 12, you'll find some more great views, as well as the Japanese specialty restaurant, Izumi. And just past Izumi, you'll find a couple more great kid spots in Adventure Beach and the Kids Pool. Now that we've shown you all around Deck 12, there's only one more deck to go. So let's head back to the front of the ship to check out Deck 13. Once you've arrived at the front of Deck 13, you probably won't be too surprised to find more amazing views. And whether it's a beautiful Caribbean port day or a stunning sunset sail away, the views from the front of Deck 13 are really hard to beat. Back inside the ship, Cruisers can also find the Viking Crown Lounge and Vortex Nightclub at the front of Deck 13. Visitors here will quickly find amazing panoramic views and the perfect spot to enjoy a cocktail or to dance the night away. And even on a port day morning when the lounge is closed, it's still a pretty good place to relax and enjoy the views. Back outside on Deck 13, you'll find the rock climbing wall towards the middle of the ship. As people who love to rock climb, this was easily our favorite outdoor activity on the ship. But with routes ranging in difficulty from beginner to intermediate, it's an activity that can also be enjoyed by kids and adults of most fitness levels. Way at the back of Deck 13, you'll find another great outdoor activity for both kids and adults at the Fairways of Serenade Putt-Putt Course. Like rock climbing, this activity is free of charge, and we have to admit the views up here aren't too bad either. Want to see even more footage of this wonderful ship? Then be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our upcoming videos. Or just click on this video next. Thanks for watching!